Hello everybody and welcome back to Reynality TV. I'm Reyna and today we're going to be talking about teething toys. So my baby is currently eight months old. She is, has been teething I feel like for a couple of months now. She has absolutely no teeth. She's drooling obsessively and wants to chew on everything. So I was like, I need to find her some more toys that she can just like chomp on. And I had like no idea where to start. So I thought I would share with all of you moms where I started and kind of my thoughts on some of the toys. Of course, every baby's going to be different. Your baby might like toys that my baby doesn't who knows my baby might like the toys that I that she doesn't like today she might like them tomorrow and who knows babies are unpredictable and everybody is different so with that in mind let's get into it so first I want to talk about rattles I've got two different ones here. I have a nice little plushy stuffed one right here. Sometimes my daughter's more in the mood for something a little bit more soft to kind of chew on, kind of just suck on, and kind of have that soft on their gums. I have cat hair on this one. <laughs> So this is a really great option. She really loves sucking and chewing on like fabric. She really does like that. But another option are like hard rattles. Sometimes she's just in the mood for something more hard and plastic. Um, so these little ears, she does like to chew on those and she loves ugh, <laughs> sucking on ribbon. So these are two really great rattle options for teethers. Another teething toy that I really like are these rings. My daughter absolutely loves these and I think they're really great for teethers because they have um, different textures on them, kind of like the ribbed, like the spiral, and like the chewy rubbery kind of stuff. So I think these are really nice. They get it, allows your baby to get more familiar with different textures and all the different colors are really stimulating for the eye. So I think this is a really great option. These are by Infantino, but a lot of different toy brands make several different variations of these as well. Now, when I was searching for teething toys, I just did a search on Amazon, and if you notice, if you do that, you will notice a bunch of these things popping up. Now, my daughter hasn't quite figured these out. <laughs> um, she, to be completely honest, she really likes chewing on the plastic part more than the rubbery part that they're supposed to be chewing on. So I have a couple of thoughts on these. This is by Bright Stars and this is by Inventino. Now the Bright Stars one, you really, really have to chomp on this for, to get that vibration and that vibration is very subtle. I don't like this one because you really have to chomp on it to get even the slightest bit of vibration off of this. For that reason, I don't like it as much as the Infantino one. This one is very light bite um, to get that vibration and it's a lot stronger vibration. I also feel like it's a lot softer than this one. It's very hard. Do I think you need to buy this if your baby's teething? Probably not. Uh, like I said, my daughter doesn't even know how to use it correctly. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I think these are kind of like hyped up kind of things um, that I don't think are really like, ooh, I need to get this because my baby's seating. So yeah. Next are these kind of like ribbon blankets. This one my mom made for my daughter. You can buy these at Target, Walmart, anywhere where they sell baby toy things. Um, or you can make it yourself. It's really super easy. It's just two pieces of cloth with a whole bunch of different ribbons sewn into it. She absolutely loves sucking on these ribbons. Like, it's absolutely insane how much she really loves this. <laughs> Um, I've had to wash it several times because it can get pretty nasty. 
She absolutely loves this. The last two toys that I want to talk about, first one is, or are these little O-Ball key teethers. Now, a lot of different companies make these um, and different varieties. And in particular, I this is by O-Ball. I do not like these. <laughs> and I kind of wish I didn't get them. My daughter doesn't like them all that much either. Um, they do, like different companies make different styles and typically you'll see kind of like this crunch, like not crunchy, but this more squishy texture on the end of these rings so they can just chew on them. And I really wish I bought that style more because these, you can't really chomp on them all that much. And then obviously these little teethers where you can put them into the fridge and they get cold and they're more soothing on the gums for the baby. Total classic teether toy. My daughter loves this. And that is it. Those are kind of the toys that I started with. I know there are so many other toys that you can start with, um, but those are kind of just my opinions about those teether toys um, to start your child on. There's no right, wrong toy to start with for teething. To be honest, babies love just about everything and if they don't love it, who knows, they might love it tomorrow. So start anywhere, <laughs> to be completely honest. I think I just was really overthinking it and it really doesn't need to be overthought. So these are just kind of some toys that I thought would be helpful for moms to just kind of look at and kind of think about what you want to get your babies to start playing with because I know I'm still kind of growing her toy collection and I never know where to start, what are great things to buy, what are not so great things to buy, and there's like a slew of toys. So yeah, um, thank you so much. I know I've been super absent on posting videos lately and I've just been brainstorming and making videos for all of you to watch and to enjoy and to teach. And I am so excited to be getting back into things. I also have I also have several different projects running as well that I will let you know more about later don't mind my almost very tired baby <laughs> that is on the floor right now but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye